So what is site analysis and what should you analyze? We've touched on this subject two weeks ago where I explained what are the points that you should analyze and what exactly do they mean. And so many of you have really enjoyed the video and asked to see how I've done the diagrams. So last week's video was about how to do the urban section. And this week's video will be a very exciting video as I'll be showing you how I've done all of the diagrams in this poster. It's going to be a long video, so bring yourself a cup of coffee and custard donuts and let's get started. I was quite surprised with last week's video because I had asked if you wanted to see it as Photoshop or Illustrator tutorial and so many of you wanted Photoshop because that is the program they know how to use. And I've come to realize how better Illustrator is for these type of diagrams so I was quite disappointed that you guys wanted Photoshop but I'm still doing it as a Photoshop tutorial because that's what you wanted to see. But if you want to start learning Illustrator or even Photoshop then have a look at Skillshare. I've worked with Skillshare on my best 7 sites for architects and so many of you have loved the video and the site so they decided to work with me on another video. So massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And if you don't know what Skillshare is, it is basically an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in design, business and more. And if you get premium membership, you will get unlimited access to all of those learning classes. And they also have architectural tutorials and this one includes site analysis and assessments and that live wind map is so useful and I've honestly never seen anything like it before. They have plenty of tutorials of Photoshop and Illustrator and these are exactly the type of tutorials that got me to where I am today. And the best thing is that Skillshare is also super affordable as the annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And Skillshare has provided us with an amazing deal. So again, the first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the description will get two months free trial. And you can cancel at any time, so you should definitely sign up. The first thing you need for the site analysis is the map. So the site analysis was a group project. So each of us had separate posters to analyze different po uh, points. So we had to make one map and send it to everyone so that it was consistent and my friend did this map and she turned it into layers which she took from Digimap and then deleted the extra areas to make it more organic and having a map like this with layers will make your diagrams making so much easier which you will see how quick you can finish your diagrams in a bit. So the first diagram we are making is this figure gram which is easy uh, because all you need to do is hide all of the layers except buildings, canals and the site. And then I'm going to select the buildings by pressing control on the layer and then filling it with black or dark grey. Street pattern is also easy as you don't need to do anything except hide the building layer and add a key under your diagram. You would need a key under each diagram so keep that in mind. Landscape is also pretty easy. <laughs> I'm saying easy to all of these diagrams, which they are really easy. Anyways, I'm just going to select the green areas and then add the grass texture using a clipping mask. Then I'm going to draw dashed lines going down from the major green parks and then start adding the native trees, animals and wildlife. Be careful as this is a very dangerous territory. I once got distracted here and found myself looking at cat videos. I'm just adding the images straight from Google and then merge them onto one layer and after that I'm going to add circles on the top and merge those on a different layer and then select it by pressing control on the circle layer and then adding a clipping mask on the image layer. Copy paste it to all of the other lines and that gives me a grid which we can then start to add different images and you will be sure that everything is tidy and equally spaced. Land use is pretty easy too as you just select the buildings and then paint over it on a new layer with different colors to represent different land use until you have something looking like this. I'm calling this movement but it analyzes a lot more topics. So first I'm going to show nodes by doing circles of different colors, grouping it and then copy paste it along the main road and the major focal points. 
Next is just vistas, so you add arrows to show the direction of view. And then I'm going to add concentric circles in the center of the site showing pedestrian time travel, which you can get by checking Google Maps and seeing how long it takes to walk from point A to point B. To add text, I'm going to select the circle layer and then click on the circle with the text tool. And then you can add text that follows the line of the object. I've added also images of the vistas which I've turned into circles and then started adding images for the major transportation methods. So for example, cycling routes, motorway and train line. I'm also adding some people around the major landmarks, places, activities that I want to highlight. So major shopping areas, schools, parks, etc. And lastly, I'm going to add the landmark icon and add that to all of the landmarks in the area and this is the final diagram. The last four diagrams were on a different map which was a bit more zoomed into our site. I won't narrate these as I didn't speed them up too much so you can clearly see what I'm doing and I don't really want to bore you to death and I'm basically losing my voice at this point. So let's just enjoy some music together. site analysis poster, have I missed anything, what are some of the topics that you analyze in your site analysis presentation boards and thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to check them out and in my next video I'll talk about how to actually use this information we've analyzed today so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss on on that. Also comment down below what other video ideas you would like to see next and I will also link the site analysis playlist for you to check out and and don't forget to give this video a like and share because it helps support the channel so I can create more videos like this one. I'm Rasha Shiruru and I'll see you next time.